Poverty is a persistent problem that affects millions of people around the world. But what makes some people poor and others rich? Is it just a matter of luck? This question has been pondered by philosophers and economists for centuries. To answer this question, we need to view money as a tool for success and not the end goal itself. You see, money is one of the most powerful forces in our lives. It can make us happy or miserable, confident or insecure. It can also help us create the life we want and pursue our true passions. The truth is, how you think and feel about money is not something you are born with. It's something you learn and develop over time, and it can have a huge impact on our financial success. That's why having a strong financial mindset is so important. A financial mindset is the way you think and feel about money. It influences your financial decisions and shapes how you behave around money. It also affects your ability to build wealth. But how exactly can you tell if you have a strong financial mindset? Today, I'll disclose to you guys 11 signs that indicate you have a positive and powerful relationship with money. We prepared the definitive signs that show you'll never be poor and put them together in this video. So follow closely and stick with me until the end. Practice these things if you're not already. Number 1. You don't let money define you. You know that money is a tool, not a goal. You don't measure your self-worth by your net worth, nor do you compare yourself to others who have more or less than you. You use money to support your values and purpose, not to impress or please others. You are confident and content with what you have, and you don't let money control your emotions or decisions. For example, you don't buy a fancy car just because your neighbor has one, or a designer bag just because your favorite celebrity has one. You buy things that suit your needs and preferences and that makes you happy. You also don't get jealous or bitter when you see someone who has more money than you, or pity or judge someone who has less money than you. You respect and appreciate everyone regardless of their financial status, and you focus on your own goals and achievements. You also don't let money affect your mood or behavior. You don't get too excited or reckless when you make money, or too depressed or desperate when you lose money. You stay calm and rational in any situation, and you manage your money wisely. Number two. You have a strong urge to increase your income. You are not satisfied with just one paycheck or a mediocre salary. You are always looking for ways to multiply your money and grow your wealth. You create passive income by investing in assets that generate cash flow, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, or businesses. You start a side hustle by turning your passion, hobby, or skill into a profitable venture, such as blogging, freelancing, consulting, or coaching. You build a business by solving a problem, serving a need, or creating value for others, such as developing a product, offering a service, or launching a brand. You are not afraid to ask for a raise, a promotion, or a better opportunity when you deserve it. You are always striving to increase your income potential and reach new levels of financial success. Number three, you learn new skills and expand your knowledge on personal finance topics. You are curious and eager to learn more about money and wealth. You don't just rely on what you learned in school or what you hear from others. You do your own research and educate yourself on topics such as budgeting, saving, investing, taxes, retirement planning, or entrepreneurship. You read books by experts such as Robert Kiyosaki, Dave Ramsey, Susie Orman, or Tim Ferriss. You listen to podcasts by influencers such as Pat Flynn, Ramit Sethi, Paula Pants, or Lewis Howes. You watch videos by educators such as Khan Academy, TEDx, or Coursera. You took a course or two on platforms such as Udemy, Skillshare, or Masterclass. You also apply what you learn to improve your financial situation. You implement the best practices, strategies, and tips that you discover. You experiment with different methods, tools, and systems that work for you. You also share what you learn with others who can benefit from it. Number four. You seek advice from an expert or mentor. You don't pretend to know everything or make subjective decisions. You recognize when you need help or guidance from someone who has more experience or expertise than you. You consult with professionals such as finance planners, accountants, or lawyers when necessary. They can help you with things such as creating a financial plan, filing your taxes, setting up a trust, or protecting your assets. You also have a mentor who inspires you, teaches you, or supports you in achieving your goals. This could be someone who has achieved what you want to achieve, such as a successful entrepreneur, investor, or author. Maybe it's someone who has overcome a situation that you're dealing with. People like these can share their stories, insights, and lessons and advice with you. 
They can also provide feedback, encouragement, and accountability for you, and you're not afraid to ask for it. Number five, you celebrate your progress and reward yourself for your achievements. You don't take your success for granted or ignore your efforts. You acknowledge how far you have come and how much you have accomplished. You also reward yourself with something meaningful or enjoyful when you reach a milestone or complete a task. For example, if you save $1,000 a month, you may treat yourself to a nice dinner or movie night. If you pay off $10,000 in debt in a year, you may splurge on a vacation or a shopping spree. If you earn $100,000 in passive income in a lifetime, you may donate it to charity or buy a dream car. Whatever it is that makes you happy and motivates you to keep going, you do it without guilt or regrets. You celebrate your progress and reward yourself for your achievements. Consider hitting subscribe if you're enjoying this video. Number six, you have an optimistic attitude towards wealth. You don't fear or resent wealth. You view money as a tool that can help you create the life you want and make a difference in the world. You also believe in yourself and your ability to achieve your financial goals. You don't let negative thoughts or emotions such as doubt, worry, envy, or anger affect your financial mindset. Instead, you replace them with positive thoughts and emotions such as confidence, gratitude, abundance, and joy. You also use affirmations, visualizations, and meditation to reinforce your positive financial mindset. For example, you may say to yourself, I am worthy and capable of having money. I am grateful for all the money I have. I attract money easily and effortlessly. Or, I enjoy money and wealth. You may also imagine yourself living your desired lifestyle, having your ideal income, owning your dream assets, making your meaningful contributions, and leaving your ultimate legacy. You may also relax your mind and body by taking deep breaths, listening to meditation music, or doing yoga. Number seven, you have a clear vision of what you want to achieve and why. You don't just dream, you visualize what your future will look like. You have a vivid and detailed picture of your financial future in your mind. You can see yourself living the lifestyle you desire, earning the income you deserve, owning the assets you covet, making the contributions you value, and leaving the legacy you aspire to. You can also express your core values, your personal mission, and your unique purpose in words. You know what matters to you, what drives you, and what sets you apart. Your vision is not just a fantasy. It is a reality that you are determined to create. Your own vision inspires you to take action and guides your decisions. Number eight, you set smart financial goals. You are not a wisher, you are a planner. You have a clear and concrete plan to turn your vision into reality. You break down your vision into smaller and more manageable goals that are smart, that is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. For example, instead of saying, I want to save more money, you say, I want to save $10,000 in 12 months for a down payment on a house. You also track your progress and adjust your goals as needed. You don't just hope for the best, you work for it. Number nine, you track your income, expenses, savings, investments, and net worth. You don't gamble, you manage. You have a clear and accurate picture of your financial situation and performance. You know exactly how much money you make, spend, save, invest, and owe. You also know your net worth, which is the difference between your assets and liabilities. You use tools such as budgeting apps, spreadsheets, or journals to monitor and control your cash flow. You also review your financial statements regularly and look for ways to improve them. You don't just leave things to chance. You take charge of your finances. Number 10, you create and follow a budget that aligns with your values and priorities. You are not a spender, you are an investor. You have a clear and consistent plan to allocate your income among your needs, wants, and goals according to your values and priorities. You spend less than you earn and avoid wasting money on things that do not add value to your life. You also prioritize spending on things that bring you joy, satisfaction, and fulfillment. You don't just throw money away, you put money to work for you. Number 11, you pay yourself first. You are not a consumer, you are a producer. You have a clear and compelling habit to save and invest a portion of your income 
before spending on anything else. You treat saving and investing as an essential expense that comes before anything else. You automate your savings and investments to make them consistent and effortless. You also increase the amount you save and invest as your income grows. You don't just work for money. You make money work for you. Now, the traits and habits we discuss can help you achieve your financial goals and live the life you dream of. If you have some or all of these signs, congratulations! You're on the right track to financial success. If you don't have them yet, don't worry. You can always learn and improve your financial mindset with these practices. If you found this video beneficial, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember this, your mindset is your greatest asset. Use it wisely.